We were talking about giving, what advice would you give to children today? Barbara, what would you give to children today? I would give the same advice to children as I would adults. Enjoy your youth and have fun. It doesn't have to be in an organized sport. It can just be whatever you find the most enjoyable because your youth goes by too fast. You are so correct. Bonnie, how about you? Um, I would tell the children to put down their electronics and to go outside and meet their friends and to use their imagination and um, to, to get moving, to have fun and explore the world around them. You know, um, and then they won't tell their parents that they're bored. How true. Okay, Lisa? Um, I, I think encouraging children to be self-starters, to, you know, if one child says, hey, I think I had this great idea. I think, why don't we do this? Why don't we try this? And, you know, to kind of bring their friends into that. And, uh, and then you have your, your neighborhoods and your teams and your, all of those the things that we did as kids. And, uh, and if they think that they're not doing something just for their health, or if they think it's just gonna be fun, when in the long run we know that the, the results are, are gonna be you know, good for their health, good for their mind, good for their bodies, um, then I think if, you know, if, if they, they know, they think it's fun, they're gonna do it for fun, I think that, right. you know. It's, it's really taking care of the true purpose. Mm -hmm. Well, being active is not only a childhood activity. Adults, especially seniors, uh, should and must remain active in order to live longer and have a healthy light life. What does the bond do to foster activities into the sedentary life of a senior? Well, uh, Tom, would you tell us about that? Well, um, we have the Wii game, and uh, we've started uh, getting people interested in the bowling game because that's one of the easiest for uh, people to relate to. And uh, we have some very strong competition going all of a sudden. And a waiting list, I hear. <laughs> oh, yes, definitely. <laughs> so they've been having a lot of fun with that, and... Uh, we even plan to get a few more people involved and have a tournament, see who the best bowler is. Hey, that's so. But we've already that's had strange. a high score of 192, oh, which is oh my gracious. It's hard to beat. <laughs> <laughs> is there anything else that they do at the bond to encourage seniors to move around Bonnie? Well, um, we have an exercise lady that comes in periodically, and she's very good. Uh, her name is uh, Lori and uh, she does chair exercises with the seniors. Mm -hmm. And there are some people who may not be capable of doing you know, strenuous exercise, and this is something that everyone can do. So um, they join in, and uh, just part of our healthy atmosphere. Which is very good. Most of the activities that we have at the Bond are really geared towards the seniors, and it's moderated. But Lisa, you're in the Park District, and of course it is much larger and more diversified. Could you tell us something about your Club 55 and what's sure, going on there? Sure, uh, well, it's it's full of a lot of active seniors, people who really want to stay in shape, who want to, you know, um, keep their bodies healthy, also keep their minds healthy. Uh, there are a variety uh, offered. Uh, the water aerobics is very, very popular because it's very non-invasive to the bones and uh, to the, you know, to uh, the rest of the body. And uh, they do Tai Chi now for seniors. They also have land aerobics that are geared towards a senior. Um, and uh, they, um, you know, the, I have, in just in my senior center, people come to play ping pong or table tennis, the guys call it. Yeah. Um, and uh, that's quite active, that they, they keeps them quite active. So um, they, they're, it, depending on what their, what their, you know, their favorite thing to do is, some people do do a lot of the, they do the Tai Chi as well as the water aerobics, right. as well as the land aerobics, but um, some people just- And they have a card or something that you Yeah, they, they have punch cards and um, they can buy into so many punches and uh, they can do any of those activities. Uh, they don't just have to join like one class, like say the water aerobics. Mm -hmm. If one day they want to do water aerobics, they can do that. If the next day they would like to do uh, Tai Chi, they can do that. Um, and then when their punches are gone, then their card is used. Okay, that yes. sounds very, very good. And Bonnie, you're with the uh, swimming. Do you see many older adults taking part in that? I definitely do. That's uh, part of the... Um
Club 55 as well, uh, low um, uh, impact aerobics. In fact, I took a class myself recently. We have um, had a free week, and I think they will have one upcoming in the next uh, three months or so. Uh, so I, I did attend one of the um, uh, water aerobics classes, and uh, I really worked hard. Mm -hmm. But uh, I was very surprised at the skill of the instructors because after the whole thing was over, I really didn't hurt, and that was for a whole hour. Wow, And that yeah. takes a lot of stamina. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very good. And Barbara, I know that the library has many lectures geared to the older folks. Right. Could you tell us about that? We some? have a number of programs for healthy living, for good diets. We have the people coming over from the Alexian Brothers for diets. We have a um, wellness um, doctor coming in for in the health food area. And we have many, many DVDs as well as CDs on exercises. And those can be Chair taken exercise. out. Chair exercise, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know I took out uh, the yoga and Pilates. Oh, and yes. <laughs> then I went and I bought them from <laughs> <See? laughs> like Amazon. Well, that's very important yeah. to mm -hmm. see what exercise fits your needs. So why not check them out with your library card first? And then if you want to invest your money, you then can you do can so. do it. Right. Now, Tom, are you thinking of getting into any other Wii game beside uh, the bowling? Well, there have been some people that wanted to play the tennis and whatnot. It's uh, a little more invigorating. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's like all of the Wii games, you need to practice them to yes. become mm -hmm. proficient. Right. So. Um, I think we can start expanding into that. Well, how many of those gizmos do you have? Is it we two have two right now. Okay. And, uh, so if anybody wants to donate more, you'd be open and receptive oh, yes. to it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, that's not a foolish idea because many people buy the Wii games or they buy all these games. They're very enthusiastic for a week, two weeks, a month, and then it sits on the shelf. So if anybody has any Wii games that you want to donate to the bond, we'll be very willing recipients. <laughs> so, but I think we have to, you know, say thank goodness we all have health. And when I look at the seniors at the bond, how uh, energetic they are and the different things that they do, they have much to be thankful for. And that's why they're able to come to the bond and enjoy a delicious meal. I'm sure that Michelle Obama would be very proud of many of the people that are there. And if she played a visit to the Schomburg Park District, I'm sure she would be elated to know that all ages are getting their exercise in. We'd like to thank you for listening to us chatter and banter on about our past and thinking about the future. And may everyone have a very helpful, happy, active life. And may God bless you all. Thank you for listening.